Hello everyone, I'm Lucas Di Grassi here and today I'm gonna talk about a key innovation that I haven't seen in race cars uh, at any point and I don't really know why and who's controlling that but uh, we for sure is gonna see that in the future especially for electric race cars. So talking about uh, energy usage in an electric race car of course you're using the energy from the battery to turn the electric motor and to push the car so you're transforming basically um, uh, the, taking the, the energy out of the battery to an inverter electric motor pushing the car when you brake you have something called regenerative braking which the motor is pushed by the rear wheels so the regenerative braking doesn't happen at the brakes it happens at the motor so the motor is pushed against the magnetic field and this generates a current that charges the battery back so basically if you have four wheel drive in an electric car and you have regenerative braking a very efficient one which we have in Formula E you can have uh, pretty much all the energy being used and recuperated at only some friction so rolling uh, tire rolling resistance and aerodynamic drag being used uh, being wasted energy into heat um, into the air or into the brake uh, sorry or into the, the the tires including friction when you're doing a corner the slip angle of the tire makes a big difference of how much energy is usage is used um, so when I say that I say I think a very important feature that we're gonna see in electric race cars in the future is movable aerodynamic devices so with the movable aerodynamic devices you need a car that has a lot of downforce when it's needed at, for example at the braking point or uh, at the high speed corner but then a very efficient car in the straight line that generates very little wake actually one of the reasons that the, the wheels uh, of the Formula E and LMP1 cars are covered is because it's much more efficient than open wheels like Formula 1 or IndyCar uh, in, a, in an F1 car probably 30% of the aerodynamic drag comes from the, the exposed tire so it's, it's a huge loss it's hugely inefficient to have the wheels um, exposed like that uh, for aerodynamic reasons so I've seen this video that you're gonna watch it now and uh, it really inspired me to with these new materials and with some uh, non moving parts to be able to shape the different uh, ways that the aerodynamic can be used in um, in race cars to allow for maximum downforce in corners when it's needed and even change in balance when it's needed for example if you're in the wake of another car and little drag on the straights is something that i really wish to see in generation three uh, formula e car and um i don't know how or when we're gonna have it but this uh, combined with softer controlled kinematics softer controlled suspensions ride height even aerodynamic changes like we discussed are uh, purely corner by corner uh, dictated by um, by distance so for example corner one at 100 meter you have this setup then the next corner have that setup and all softer control so not like today that the mechanic has to change the anti-roll bar and uh, change the springs and so on um, it um, it will be the for me the future of uh, uh, or part of the future of the next generation of race cars cheaper more efficient and better I hope you enjoyed and yeah don't forget to subscribe and tell me which topic you want to discuss a little bit more in the future.